Alright, we're going to start um, a Sonic Wall um, content filter. We're going to add a domain to the whitelist, but this is the hard part. There's a couple places we do it. The first place you can add um, trusted domains, of course, is down here under the trusted domain area. You can click add and add the domain. If you want to add the whole domain, oh man, copy paste is not going to work. Um, SussexCountyDE.gov is what we'll do. SussexCountyDE.gov. Okay, so that's the domain we want to add. We need to add an asterisk in front of it. <clears throat> and then a dot. Catch is, is there's multiple versions of this domain, so man, that's just not working. Star. Let me see if I can copy paste it. All right, good. So paste it in there. I'm going to do this because it's the actual domain. And then I've got to add it in different forms besides that. So I'm going to add it. It's this. So here it is for all of the subdomains. Put a star in front of it. Okay, and that should be everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we still have to do the rest of the content services. So you click configure here. You see this is security service content filtering down into here. There's two ways inside of here to do it. So um, this is why it takes so much time. So first you have your policy. All right, let's go into the DJ policy. And we're going to add to the Earl list. Got it all. That's in there. Custom list. And we're going to add allowed domain. All right. So we're going to add right here. <clears throat> There's one. The other version. I'm also going to do it without that. So you can see you're adding it multiple, multiple times. It sees it as different domains. So as you can see, this takes to make it truly allowed, it takes a lot of different versions. Make sure you always get the star in there for sure. Let me do one more of that kind of star. Oh, I did it with open. Did I do it with? Yep. Okay, so it should be good. Press OK. We're not done yet. <coughs> now we got to go custom list here. Look at this. Allow domains again. Here we go again. Paste and paste that in there. So here's that one. It'll tell you if it's already got it. So if it doesn't say it's already got it, you need to add it. And yes, I go through every version again. Should be one more. It's like four versions of domain I have to put in here. It's best when you got a list of them, you can do them all at once. So, okay. Now, I'm, I'm not exactly sure of the amount of time it takes for all these to 
make it inside of the system but what I would do is if it's in the evening I would just restart the sonic wall for now I can't do that because people are already working this morning it's probably gonna take an hour or two and what we'll probably end up having to do is ask that person to restart their browser to make it work but that should be it and that uh, that's where you add your um, domains to the whitelist